You got tear me apart, Lisa! My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? Hey, buddy, you gonna eat that sausage? No, 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 go past this. Past this part. In fact, never play this again. Tell me something, my friend. Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the role? Ladies and gentlemen! Your complete attention, if you please. The Epic Film Guys Podcast. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the live stream for The Cure 2.0. I am, of course, Epic Film Guy Nick. And I am Epic Film Guy Justin. We are here for a very special event, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to everyone in the stream right now that is already joining us. We've got a handful of people in here patiently awaiting for the event to begin. So thanks for all you are going to get the worm here. But I'm super excited about this, Nick. We've been leading up to this for months. You've been putting so much work and time and effort into this thing. We're finally here, baby. Live stream for The Cure 2.0. We're finally here and my windows aren't aligned properly. <laughs> We're always going to have those every little time, issues. Every, every time. Every There's time. Always yeah. like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, why is it off center? Like, I've been going back and forth through OBS for like the past 20 minutes checking everything and adding everything and doing what a pain in the ass what a pain in the ass but yes welcome ladies and gentlemen if you're watching right now thank you all everybody as justin said for joining us over on twitch and on youtube we really really appreciate it this is our one of 30 goddamn hours of live stream of live stream content it's going to be absolutely amazing i'm super super excited about it as as uh, justin said We've got an amazing array of guests that are going to be joining us all throughout this three-day journey to try to raise $5,000 for the live stream for The Cure. As you can see there, right on the screen, we're already 13.3% of the way toward our goal before we even started. And I want to give a huge shout out to Chris Campbell, Robert Moreno, and Brendan Whale, all of whom donated today over on the cancer research institute site so thank you everybody uh we're going to start taking donations a little bit later on uh this is kind of our like opening piece our little intro piece we've got a lot of fun super cool super cool games and segments actually i'm going to throw this up in here right now so you guys can see it and uh justin i didn't tell justin about any of this so he gets to experience it all for the first time but uh i came up with a bunch of uh came up with a bunch of different stuff that you guys are going to be able to do. I know other podcasters are going to be joining us are also planning on doing this, which is really, really awesome as well. I know Miserable Retail Slave, if you donate a dollar, he'll insult Tommy, which <laughs> I'm I'm going to donate. I told him I'm going to donate like $1,000 during his segment. And just, that'll all, that's all it'll be is just nothing but insult after insult after insult after insult. So first, before we get anywhere, Justin, uh, how the hell are you, man? I'm great, actually. I'm super energized. I didn't think I would be, though. Um, I just got back from work and I had to walk home. Windy situation, windy and rainy and cold. And it's really shitty out here in Northern Virginia. But I got myself energized as soon as I walked to the door. I sat down in front of my microphone, in front of my Mac, and I knew we have something very special to handle tonight. This is a very big deal for the Epic Film Guys podcast. So I'm good. And I'm 100% sober. I haven't even drank a beer yet. So I guess that I'll be opening a cold one on the show. <laughs> it's going to be until I get one. But 
your your audio is still cutting out for some goddamn reason. I'm trying to think. No, touching your volume is not going to do anything. I don't know why. Difficulties? Is it sounding better now? No, it, it, it keeps it like your microphone doesn't like start actually broadcasting you until like a second after you start talking. So it's cutting off legitimately everything you say. Like literally every single sentence uh, you say, it's no. like, nah. God damn it. To using the mic on up here and turn it off in Discord or. The problem is, is if we do that, then our guests won't be able to hear you. Oh, yeah. Unless they're joining us in up here, which not all of them are. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the live stream for the Cure 2.0, a.k.a. the tech support chat. Um. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I'll I'll do it right now. No, I'm not I'm kidding. Don't do that. Oh. I was, I was kidding. Oh my god. I just I don't know why it's doing that. It just doesn't make sense to me why it's doing that. Um Your mic sensitivity is where, you said? Let me look again. It's at minus eighty eight. Minus 88. Oh, shit. Turn it down further. Turn it down to, like, turn it all the way down. Fuck it. <laughs> so it, like, literally down? just always be on. So minus 100? Yeah, just turn it all the way down. And in my input... Sorry, guys. How's that? I forgot I'm not recording the show. We're doing the live stream, so I gotta boost up a bunch of stuff. Alright, so there we go. Am I, am I better? Am I better? Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, it's pretty much just going to pick up everything you say the whole time, ever, every time, forever. And hopefully everybody over in the stream can hear me now. So, Justin, you told me that you don't have a beer, right? I don't. I am. Man. I'm not. I'm not ready. I'm How not am I supposed <laughs> to push the button that I start off pretty much every single episode of the Epic Film Guys podcast with? If you don't have a beer. Well, hold on. If you give me one second, man, Justin, if you, you give better me one second. rush. You better rush and grab a beer. And the I'm going to say hello to everyone over <laughs> on Twitch, over on YouTube. I see Interrupted Tales over on YouTube. Dan, I, I got to do a very, very special, huge, huge shout out to Dan right now. Uh, Dan is basically our executive producer for the weekend. He's going to be moderating in both chats. He's going to be helping guests get on and off the air and making sure that they are okay to go in Discord and things like that. So, Dan, I, I really do appreciate uh, everything that you're doing for the live stream for The Cure. It's uh, it's amazing. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And I saw Emily is over there on Twitch as well. Hi, Emily. Emily also really, really amazing. She changed all of our URLs earlier today. She was the one who got us the live stream for the cure URL initially, which I really, really appreciate. Thank you very much, Emily. Emily found a spider had crawled into her water bottle straw. Jeez. <laughs> and I think I saw Heather from Sunshine and Power Cuts. Heather from Sunshine and Power Cuts is going to be joining us at about 2.30 a.m. <laughs> So hang in there. You're going to get to, to see Heather way, way later tonight. We've got so many amazing guests, so much amazing content coming up tonight. But a change, Justin, in the final hour. No Indiana this... Jones on Sunday. Oh, that's right. That, we're not so doing that. No, no, no. God no. damn it. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to fix that. I don't know how to fix that unless I just unless we just do everybody through up here. But I can't do everything I've already threw up here because I didn't plan for that. Say something. Something. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, it's. I don't. I don't know if that. I don't know if you guys in the stream are getting that, but it's cutting off the beginning of everything he says for me. Literally every time he starts talking, it doesn't pick up his voice until like halfway through the first word. I don't know, I don't know what the hell that would be, or why that would be doing that, or whatever the hell the case may be. But we've got to plow ahead because we do not have time to tilly tally. Unfortunately, we're going to have to try to work it out as we go forward. All right. So now I think. Now, are you ready? Now, are you finally ready this time? I guess so. I just poured my beer 
ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you can hear what the hell I'm saying. It looks like orange juice. What's new? Now I can hear what he's saying. It just <laughs> the only crappy thing is because of the way we have to do this, we have to be muted in a peer. And wait, can I mute him just like for me? Uh I think that mutes him for everybody. Never mind, I can't do that. I can't do that. That mutes him for everybody. Uh that would turn off. Can I just ban him? Dan, can I just ban him? You're banned. Boom. Get out of here. <laughs> this is nonsense. I guess that means all the beer that I stacked up and stored in the fridge, I'll just be sitting here drinking rather than drinking it with you. Fine. Damn, that's cold, man. That is Every cold. Month. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot of stuff to do here in the opening half an hour. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties, but <coughs> why don't we go ahead and roll into a little thing that we do every single week on the Epic Film Guys podcast called What Are You Drinking? I'm back. You can rally! Yeah. Woo! Oh, give me a beer! And my friend, I will pitch it right over to you because I've got to know what that gloriously cloudy bastard that you're drinking there looks like. This is a... Uh, I've never had this before, Nick. Just take a look at that. Look how dense that is. That is amazing. It's, uh, did a, a small trade with our good buddy Brian Powell, who you know very well, who's, uh, you've done a lot of beer with Brian Powell. We drank some beer with him over the Christmas holiday. Um, and this is one of my favorite breweries, Other Half Brewing Company in Brooklyn. It is their double dry hopped green down to the socks. That's right. It's called green down to the green socks. Green down of to course, the socks. Okay. PA. And what's interesting about this, and I haven't sipped it yet. Um, I'm going to tell you about it first, then I'm going to sip it, um, is that it's hopped to the mosaic and then something called XJA, which they call a South African experimental hop. I know I have no idea what that is. And then Cascade. Um, so that's all I know Those about are, it. And it's eight- you know what they are? They're expensive ass hops is what they are. Like when I look at them, like to buy them for homebrew, they are ridiculously expensive. Explains it. There's also Cascade in there as well for good measure, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sip it right now. Ooh, I don't know. That is still doing that, and it's really bugging me. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know. We're just going to have to deal with it. It is what it is. Really interesting. Um, not the normal flavor that you'd get out of an other half double IPA, oh, but it, I can't put my finger on it. It's definitely good for a few minutes that I'll sip it again, but I, I like it. Um, other half is one of my favorite breweries. Anytime that I'm in the city, Brooklyn, I make my way up there. Hopefully you all can hear me. Hopefully. Um, but Nick, I think that I think it's just me that's having the problem hearing you. I think for whatever reason, the stream can hear you fine, which makes literally zero sense to me. <laughs> I've muted myself on our YouTube uh, that's muted, and I've done everything else you've told me to, so I don't know. I have no idea. But hopefully you can hear. <laughs> I don't. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's, be, yeah, maybe there's some kind of conflict, because I had, I still had the sound coming through, even though your microphone's muted on Discord. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, Maybe. Maybe. See, now there should be a reverb coming through for me, right? Reverb coming through. Yeah. Yep. See, that's because I'm doing both through up here. Fuck me sideways. I fucking hate everything. Fuck. Fuck. Ass. Fuck. Welcome to the Not Safe for Work live stream for The Cure 2.0. <sighs> one ever think that we are actually going to be safe for work? We got a couple of questions about it. <laughs> We did get a couple of questions about it, asking if we were going to be, asking if it was going to be uh, uh, safe for work. But uh, no, definitely 100% not going to be safe for work. I am very sorry about the technical issues, ladies and gentlemen. I did not foresee this technical issue because it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Check what? Check my what? Will it, Dan? Are you sure? All right, we're going to try it. Mm. 
Okay, Justin, unmute yourself from up here. Well, I'm I here. Still had to, I still had the speaker off. Okay, say something. Say something. I'm here. Okay, I'm not getting any weird reverb. You're not getting any weird, weird reverb, right? No, not at all. Stream, are you getting any weird reverb? My main problem is, is I think that the, I think that the, everybody else that's coming in is going to have the same problem. Anybody else that we have in the stream, I, f I feel like is going to have exactly the same problem. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's fine for now, Dan, until other people join the channel and then the same issue rears its head. But then again, they won't also be having him on a peer. Maybe there's some kind of conflict between a peer and discord. I don't know. I really don't know. All well, right. yeah, because this is our this is our first time using both at the same time, correct? So, yep, it is. Yeah. Why is up here really shut the fuck up with your? Ooh, I'm not in a good mood right now. <sighs> yeah, they really shouldn't. All right. I didn't even talk about my beer yet. Fuck. No, I was just about to ask you if you can hear me now. Yes. What do you have? What do you, what do you have? What do you, what do you, what are you guzzling down your gullet? Hmm. What do you have guzzling down your gullet there, Nick? Oh, mm. wait, there he is. There he is. Wait, where's the damn thing? I don't have it in here. Apparently. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> gone forever. I don't have the what epic film frog thing. I have it on the four person one. I have it on the four person one, which doesn't make any sense. All right. Ah, oh, man. This has literally been the, uh, this is Epic Film Frog here, and I want to tell you, go fuck yourself. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that damn frog. He's foul-mouthed. He is foul-mouthed. Who man. knew? A foul frog. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, I brewed a beer. If you listen to the show, I brewed a beer called the Cascade IPA for the Cure. Look at that color in there. And I have not tried it yet. I determined I was going to crack it as soon as we opened up the live stream for the cure. So here we go. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a little bit citrusy. It It's kind of light on the mouth feel. Mouth feel. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's kind of light on the mouth feel, but uh, it's still, it's still. I mean, it's drinkable anyway. It's it's still reasonably drinkable, which is pretty nice. That's good. Drinkable is good. Drinkable is definitely good. I think because I I decided I was going to do my own grains with this one, and I don't think I did enough, like not even close to enough. So unfortunately, it kind of ends up being like a little bit thinner on the body, but. It's still not been. It's still not been. I could definitely drink it. So that was the one thing I was worried about. I was like, well, what if this tastes terrible? But I don't want to drink you're, it. <laughs> you're, you're really starting to become like a, an expert on this thing, man. I'm really expecting in the next three years you to start pumping out beers that are as good as the Aslan that I buy every week. I expect yeah. this of you. I expect this level of quality from you. Keep Keep expecting. All right. So ladies and gentlemen. We've got just about 10 minutes before Randy and Tommy from the Miserable Retail Slave are going to be coming in to join us for a full hour, which is going to be absolutely amazing. They are one of my favorite podcasts that I listen to. Uh, thin body things I would use to describe Justin. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Dan. <laughs> I should probably send Justin the link to the restream chat because I think you're just watching on YouTube, right? That's correct. Yeah, I am literally nobody's on YouTube. Everybody's on Twitch. So all of the comments, Justin can't see. I'm going to have to send you a link to the uh, restream chat. I'll do that momentarily. Uh, I mean, I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing oh, Dan's comment now as it comes back yeah. around. So he's yeah. seen it watching you watch yourself, watch you watch yourself. Okay. Whatever. Watch what? yourself. Anyway, basically what is the live stream for the cure? And I know, you guys have heard the promo that we've been ringing on, on a lot of the different shows that we've been talking about lately. And, you know, people have been making early donations, which is wonderful. Again, we are already on early donations alone. I have not made the donation with the merchandise funds yet. That's going to be coming Sunday, I think, because I'm giving people more time throughout. The YouTube comments don't seem to be showing up. Uh, 
I am sorry, YouTube. Oh, man. <laughs> what a dis- what a disaster. God. I'm going to have to pull up YouTube separately. So I do apologize, YouTube. I will get that taken care of. They're fine, I think. What's fine? Oh, it's just no one said whatever. All right. Yeah, if you're there, say hello, everybody in the chat. If you're there, I, I just want to make sure everything is working properly. Um, but anyway, uh, live stream for the cure last year. I, I decided, I don't know. I decided I wanted to do, I, I decided I wanted to do something, you know, uh, in terms of trying to raise money. And I, and I tried to think of what means the most to me. And I think I, we settled on cancer, Justin, and, uh, for just a few minutes, if only because we wasted 20 minutes doing goddamn tech bullshit at the beginning of the show here. Thank you everybody for bearing with us. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, just, uh, to just take a moment to just explain kind of, uh, what this event means to you and like how cancer's touched your life. Well, of course. I mean, um, for me, at least, I think that, you know, we experience, dealing with cancer on a daily basis. It's such a, a, a huge ordeal uh, in our society in this day and age. Uh, I myself personally, I uh, experienced it with my my dad's mother, my grandmother, Dory, who battled cancer, went through chemotherapy and ended up uh, unfortunately uh, succumbing to the cancer and passing away. Um, and it, it was it was a huge situation that we had never dealt with before. Um, you know, seeing her go through the therapy and seeing her suffering, and uh, it it was absolutely awful. But it was also a life changer uh, for all of us, being able to understand what everybody else in, in the world is dealing with when they deal with this horrible disease. And that's why it kind of led me to when we discussed this last year. Uh, really. Uh, gave me a lot of excitement that we could actually do some good and raise some money for this because the main thing is, is there are, there are things out there that could help and push this forward. And I think that it just doesn't have the, the backing. It doesn't have the money and people there are don't realize that could help. And so, I mean, for me, I don't, it, it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, man, we're on the live stream for the Cure 2.0, and we're going to have some issues. But that, that for me, is uh, you know my incentive and what kind of got me excited about it when you mentioned it last year. All right. You've seen the photos that are flashing down at the bottom of the screen, and every once in a while, periodically, one photo flashes through there that says, what's your story? And that's what I want to make this year's live stream for the Cure all about is your story. Okay. And all throughout the event. All right. And now all this needs to go through the DM over on Livestream for Cure on Twitter. So follow Livestream for Cure on Twitter and send DMs. But if you want to send pictures, if you want to send uh, images of your loved ones, people that you know uh, that have been affected by cancer uh, or whatever, uh, I encourage you to do that. Please go ahead and send those through. Okay. And uh, for me, you see pictures in here flashing by. This is my wedding. Uh, that photo right there. That's Goji. Goji was not at my wedding. Justin was. And you see here, uh, this is Perry and Lindsay Johnson. And Perry and Lindsay Johnson are going to be closing out this event for us. 4.30 p.m. on on Sunday. And Perry, unfortunately, just a couple of weeks ago, learned that he has uh, stage 4 inoperable stomach and esophageal cancer. And it's it's so 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 tragic but they are determined to fight and we're going to fight with them and i announced it uh not last week but the week before on the show and i told them about it but the final 90 minutes of the live stream for the cure is going to be for perry and Lindsay's gofundme account to raise money for their medical costs so 4 30 on sunday donations are going to stop for the cancer research institute and we're just going to raise money for Perry and Lindsay to try to help them because they're going to need, they're going to need all the help they can get. He's going through chemo and radiation pretty intensively right now to try to battle against this thing. And the last thing that's in there, and this is the last thing I want to talk about before we get Randy and Tommy in here. Thank you all very, very much for watching YouTube. I do have your comments pulled up. I'm not sure why they're not appearing on the stream chat on restream. I may have to rejigger that later if they're not both going to appear there. Uh, so I, I do apologize for that, but I'll get that fixed a little bit later. Uh, the picture actually just flashed by. Uh, that's a photo of my friend Jake. And my friend Jake, uh, he was maybe about 23 
when he died uh, from cancer. That's he crazy. Was, he was legitimately one of uh, one of the best people I'd ever known in my life, and as you'll see in the video here in just a moment, one of the craziest. <laughs> uh, you know, he he loved to have fun. He loved to live. He loved to be alive, and and everything. And it's for people like Jake and my mother in law Prudence. You see her in these images right there with my son, uh, showing up. You know, it, it's it, it. This is why. We want to do the live stream for the cure. This is why the live stream for the cure is as important it is as it is. And this is why we need your amazing donations. This is why we've been putting the word out for legitimately like months now. So many people, there's way too many people that I could possibly ever thank for all that they've done for playing the promo, for pimping out, for shouting out this show. So I want to go ahead and I want to play a short video that I put together after he passed away. Uh, this is for Jacob. <laughs> 